Hey, y'all. So there was a recent arrest of these two men. I may butcher the names. I apologize. 21-year-old Pedro Mandela and 23-year-old Moises Barrios. They, back in December of uh, December 11th of 2021, these two men went on a four-hour crime spree in Chicago, Illinois. The weapon that they used was a baseball bat and a crowbar. There were a total of 14 victims. One did not survive. They had taken uh, Barrio's mother's car and videotaped all of the attacks. They attacked most of the people after robbing them and getting what they wanted. Jose Tellez didn't survive one of the attacks. He was putting up Christmas lights outside of his home when they attacked him in front of his 14-year-old daughter. She was screaming for her brother to help, but by the time he got there, the two men had jumped back into the vehicle and fled the scene. And the father was already uh, beaten to death. Incredibly sad story. So, I want to go through the timeline because it shows just how uh, rampant they were that day. So, at 3.52, there was a man robbed and intimidated with the baseball bat. It progresses and becomes uh, more violent as the day goes on. At 3.57, just five minutes later, they hit a man in the head with a baseball bat and stole his money and his credit cards. At 4.03, they attacked a postal worker. They were robbed of their phone, the mail, and their sweater. At 4.15, they hit a man in the head with a baseball bat and stole his cell phone and his money. At 419, you see how close these are together? At 419, they punched and kicked um, a man in the head and hit him with a baseball bat and stole his wallet. At 523, they hit a man with a, the baseball bat and punched another man for their money. 625, they murdered Jose Tellez. Five minutes later, there was a car found with a broken window. At 4.59, they punched a man, took a tool that he had, and his wallet. At 7.08, a man was hit with a baseball bat and a crowbar after giving the men his book bag and his wallet. At 7.29, a victim was attacked and was threatened, do you want to die before they beat him with a baseball bat? At 7.45, they robbed a man of his paycheck and his money with his wife and four-year-old child in the car, and they went on to uh, damage their vehicle with a crowbar. At 7.50, they broke out a man's car window. They stole his cell phone. He was robbed of all his cash. In the vehicle that they were driving, they found blood evidence, fingerprints, credit cards, cell phones, and other items. They have been charged with one count of first-degree murder, 12 counts of armed robbery, 9 counts of aggravated battery, 4 counts of property damage, attempted robbery, burglary, and unlawful restraint. Both of the men are being held without bond because they have a history of not showing up to court. So they have it. They have a record. Um, uh, Med Medelio, Medelia uh, said that it was Barrios's idea, but both men had been texting back and forth that day. Uh, Medelia said that uh, Barrios was the one who actually killed Jose Telez, excuse me, but there was blood evidence on both weapons. Medelio said that he went along with this 
uh, these acts because he needed Christmas money for his children. And what I have to ask them is, well, what about all these people's lives that you affected right before Christmas? It's senseless. Can you imagine the damage that they've done emotionally to the victims and the people who witnessed what these two did that day? It was so violent and for hours they went out and terrorized Chicago and I'm glad they're not being released on bond and I hope that when the time comes they get sent away for a long time I personally don't understand all the violence that's going on today but uh, we need to keep exposing it I'll talk to y'all soon have a good night or good day rather